the details so far is that at 5, 10 a.m. we received a phone call of a female running into traffic trying to grab onto cars. And a trooper contacted her and she advised us that there was a victim of a shooting in a vehicle on 520 here at the scene. I'm not sure the exact location of where she was found or picked up. Uh, trooper arrived at this, this scene and observed a male in the driver's seat. Uh, could not find a pulse, called the fire department and determined that apparently he died of, of a gunshot wound. Right now we're processing the scene as a homicide. We're not sure if it was self-inflicted or not, but there's some evidentiary details that, that leave a little doubt. So we're gonna process it as a homicide at this, at this point in time. So we have detectives responding and I believe the, the um, crime scene response is all also on the way. So it's gonna be an extended period of time. Um, those are all the details I have right now. We have the female, she is at Harborview Hospital um, and we're trying to determine from her more of the details that, that occurred here. Was a gun recovered at the scene? I believe there's a weapon inside the vehicle. Uh, I'm not, like I said, we, we just don't have enough details until we can process the scene inside the vehicle. So to be clear, you're not looking for anyone else? We're not looking for anyone else this time, but just due to some, some things that we observe, um, we're going to process it as a, as a homicide scene. But one of those things, the fact that there's a, appears to be a bullet hole on the driver's side in the windshield. That's one of the things we're looking at. There's a couple other things. It's just, obviously, we've got to err on the side of caution here because we want to do the best investigation that, that's possible. So that's why we have to kind of slow down and, and not just jump to conclusions. So the, the person, the, the, the woman, she could sit, I mean, at this point, is she a suspect? What, what, what? I don't have that information. Uh, I just know that she's at Harborview and, and we're there with her. The person that was found deceased, male or female, driver's side or passenger? A male in the driver's seat. Do we think he was in the driver's side the whole time, or could he have been the driver? I, I, I just, I don't have that information at this time. And she's in Harborview. Did she have any injuries to her? Or? I, I'm not sure if she has any injuries. Um, I know that we received reports that she was flagging traffic, trying to grab onto cars, and that's when the trooper contacted her and picked her up, and and that's the only details I have on that. I'll, I'll get more details as, as the morning goes on. Does it appear, though, that the car literally pulled over here in the breakdown lane, and then maybe this incident happened? It, it looks that way, but we're not sure. You know, and, and like I said, if anybody witnessed anything in this area, you know, around 5 a.m., we'd love to hear from them. Just you, know, you can just call 911 and let them know and get that information to us because anything anything's going to help us, you know, process the scene and do this investigation. She's way back there. Is it possible to see it happen back there? I, I don't know that. I, you know, if, at some point in time, she. She told us she was in the vehicle at some point in time, but I don't know anything beyond that on what her statement is, and that's what we're trying to piece together. And again, when she was running around traffic, it wasn't here, it was farther to the from, from the initial reports that she was in the westbound lanes near Montlake, that's where the trooper contacted her, but I'm not sure you know, how she got there or how long it took her to get there from this vehicle. How long do you expect this lane to be shut down? Well, I'm, I'm not sure. I know that we have, you know, uh, our detectives responding and possibly the, the, the crime scene individuals. So I can't guess right now. If I get a better estimate, then I'll definitely let you know.